Hello everybody, um, back here to kind of, I don't know, I guess make a little cooking video here. Haven't figured out what I'm going to call it yet, but it's basically a um, leftover pizza omelet. I have uh, about two and a half slices of Meat Lovers um, pizza from Casey's. Scraped a lot of topping off. There's a little bit of crust in there, not a lot, but mostly just toppings. Chopped it all up. Threw in a couple pieces of sliced ham. Went ahead and browned the ham up first. You can see it's nice and brown in there. Um, got this all just kind of warming up, preheating. Um, definitely want to make sure I had that fully ready to go. And what I have here are four brown eggs. I've uh, whipped them up decently together. I'm going to go ahead and um, salt and pepper them a little bit. Mostly what I'm going to add is going to be some paprika, I think. I'm going to add some garlic powder to it. I'm going to pour that stuff right in top. But I'm going to add the um, seasoning to it after I pour it in the pan. So... I'm going to make this kind of like an omelet, I guess, but it might turn out to be a scrambled egg uh, mix, depending on how well this covers up. So I went ahead, my stove is on, um, it was on three, I just turned it up to four on my electric stove. Everybody's stove is a little bit differently. And you can hear there's still some sizzling going on in the pan, so it's got plenty of heat. I'm going to pour my eggs in, and then as they're cooking, I'm going to go ahead and season them to taste and go from there. Let's see how this goes here. In. Looks like it's turned out nice. I got a nice coverage of it going through. Uh, wasn't sure how well it was going to soak underneath, if it was going to float to the top, or what was going to happen. So, looks like everything kind of mixed in well. So, I'm going to give that a couple minutes and then I'm going to come in and try and turn it. Um, I've never been a real big fan of trying to turn omelets. They tend to want to break up on me. So, I end up making a lot more scrambled eggs than I do omelets. But I'm going to give this one a few extra. Um, maybe an extra 30 seconds or so longer than I think it needs and see if I can't maybe actually turn this like a regular omelet. So anyway, um, I'll get back to you in a minute. Have yourself a great time. Okay, here we go. We'll see if I can get this to turn in somewhat of a um, normal fashion. Not being very optimistic here. So like I said, I have very, very poor luck with this, but let's give it a shot and see what happens here. Well, I've done worse. Um, I've seen it done a whole lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that for another minute and then see what happens. So my goal is to try and make that a little bit more solid and then I can maybe just pan flip it is what I'm going to try. So we'll see what happens here. don't know if that's going to show up because I can't see my camera screen. So we'll see what happens here in a second. So... This is definitely a um, very thick omelet, so I'm going to have to let this really cook fully through there. Um, turned a little nicer than I hoped. I would like to have actually got the whole thing to flip over without folding on itself. I probably should have used two spatulas. Um, maybe would have had a better shot at it. I really have never been big on the whole pan flipping in my regular kitchen. I played um, a cook for a few years through high school, and I didn't mind it there. So we had a lot larger griddle to work on, a lot easier cleanup, all the stainless, all the general cleaning stuff. So if I did make a mess, it was not nearly as big a deal. As you can see underneath here, if I throw a bunch of stuff down in that burner, it's going to be hell to get cleaned up. So um, definitely until I get like a flat top cook stove or at least a gas stove I'm not gonna play with the whole pan flipping once it starts getting pretty solid like this I don't mind it and that's not bad there but when it's still got that big liquid center in the middle not something I'm after so anyway um, looks like it turned out pretty good here I can really smell all that garlic smell I love that smell this is probably gonna end up being I'd say at least three meals for me maybe four depending on how much I eat of it and go from there so you figure there's three slices of or about two slices of pizza in it which would be a full meal for me um there's a couple slices of ham and four eggs which would easily be a full meal uh, so we're looking at least three meals there between four eggs two slices of ham would be two and then the other two slices of pizza would be a third meal so if i cut this up in thirds i should have three good meals out of this which would be nice to have and i don't mind eggs being reheated in a microwave so looks like pretty much that's it um 
Give it a couple more minutes. I'm on real low heat. Like I said, I'm on four. I turned it back down to three um, after I flipped it the first time here, just to kind of make sure I can let it really cook through nice and slow. And looks like all I got to do here. So if you guys ever want to try it, all it is is a couple slices of sliced ham, um, some pizza toppings. I, like I said, I pre-browned those and pre-warmed them in the ham, poured the eggs on top, and that's all there is. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Well, we're here for the final wrap up of this little, I guess, pizza ham omelet. This is one of those things that when you're cooking for yourself, if you don't have anybody else around, it's going to be eating with you. Uh, you're single, whether somebody's out of town, you're alone, whatever. It's a great little meal. You can make up, dirty up one pan. Um, I did dirty up a bowl that I mixed my eggs up in, so it's a little bit different. And I have plenty of leftovers. I went ahead and added some nice fresh um, salsa to go along with this, kind of give it a little bit of a extra kick to it. I have also two extra portions right in the bowl here. Once they stop steaming, I'll put a lid on it, throw it in the fridge, and then all I gotta do is just pull out the chunk I want for the next meal, pop it in the microwave, and the third meal, I can eat it right out of the bowl, which will also save me another, um, dirtying up another dish. So, definitely this thing is delicious. I already taken a bite. You can see I cut a little chunk out of the middle fully done in the middle there. If somebody wanted to add a little extra flavor, didn't care so much about the calories, you could have thrown some cheese on top of that when I was first putting it in there. You could have put the cheese in the bottom for that matter so it melted in better. Completely up to you. Um, I'm not that big a fan of cheese. It's, I mean, I love like a good sharp cheddar or something like that or maybe even some Colby Jack, but I'd rather eat cheese by itself as opposed to throwing it on top of everything else. It seems like it muddies a lot of the flavors. I'm not a big fan of muddying that stuff together. So anyway, like I said here, all we got some leftover pizza, some ham, and then four brown eggs, some salsa. You got yourself a hell of a meal. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day.